Good morning, everybody. It's been a busy morning. Yeah, and the chemo from Sunspear Solar was here, uh, walking around the house, and making notes, and getting ready to do the design for adding more panels and another power wall and another car charger. Um, yeah, we should end up probably 100% energy independent at that point once it's finished. Yeah, I walked around with him. Then I had to go out and time to pick pineapples again. Yes, we're picking pineapples. Uh, I have plenty of them. So if there's anybody out there looking for those luscious white pineapples, come on by. Hey, I got them. Anyway, while I was out and about, I ran across dragon fruit that I didn't realize was there, actually, that has been slowly trickling in lately. Uh... Yeah, mostly what we've been getting has been um, S8 and Connie Meyer. Now, I found Connie Meyer to be one heck of a surprise. Yeah, uh, she's a... It looks to me, without researching it, that this is probably a cross with Hylocereus and Datus. Uh, it has that classic dragon fruit shape with the with the wings and the whole works you know um but the inside is uh purple and the uh, flavor of the flesh is um more distinctive than hylocereus and datus i suspect it was probably crossed to uh hylocereus costaricensis or whatever current name they give the costa rican dragon fruit which is purple um yeah and then there's S8, which is probably a cross between uh, Selenocereus megalanthus, that's the yellow dragon fruit, um, and uh, most likely the Costa Rican dragon fruit. Again, what other parentage has got in there, I don't know. Uh, the plant has a whole bunch of names. I had uh, um, a gentleman from California send me the original cutting with a fruit to test. I, I tested this uh, quite a while ago. Uh, and he called it S8. And then later, I had somebody else in California ship me a whole bunch of cuttings labeled um, Voodoo Child S8 uh, Pink Panther. It might have been one other name. Anyway, later I had somebody else turn around and tell me, oh, you know, those are all the same plant. <laughs> and even if they aren't the same plant, they are so similar in the cross that it hardly bears noting. Um, yeah, I, I can't tell the difference between all of them. I have them all out in the field, and to me, they all look like S8. So I, I believe this is true. Um, now, when it comes to dragon fruits, I'd say originally my favorite was the yellow, the Selenocereus megalanthus. Um, it was the first one I ever tasted. And I found it sweet, palatable, really a fairly delicious fruit. Um, later, uh, over on Greg Adams' farm, I tried the Hylocereus lindatus that he was raising, two strains of it, and I still have them here at Greg's place. They're under 50 foot of lava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you got a good crop, share it with your buddies, <laughs> because you might want it back later. Uh, yes, I, I have his here, but I find that type of dragon fruit unimpressive. Okay, uh, I think Frankie's Red is a delicious piece, and I think its parentage is very similar to S8, although it's not the same fruit either. It's a real good one. Uh, anyhow... This is Connie Meyer, and uh, it is not the biggest Connie Meyer. A really large Connie Meyer is just about the size of a softball, and it's pretty good fruit. Um, I was told that the fruit was not self-fertile by somebody, but I'm guessing that must be in their area, because here, uh, after I found that out, I was not happy because the, the plant blooms in beautiful double red flowers. Yeah, this is a spectacular flower. I suspect there must be some uh, epicactus in there, the, uh, the orchid cactuses, to get that color uh, in the flowers. Anyway, it'd flower and wouldn't do anything. 
Well, finally it did flower, and this time it started to set fruit when there really wasn't too much else blooming at the same time. So, uh, at least under our conditions, I think this one is probably self-fertile. Um, I find it quite tasty, and it's big. You get a lot off of it. Now, so far, I've picked a half a dozen of them off the plant, and they've been quite large, quite abundant. This there is S8. S8 uh, is really a good, delicious dragon fruit. Now, I, I see we got wings on this one, too, and no thorns. Frankie's Red has thorns a little bit, you know. The yellow has plenty of them. This is thornless. So, anyway, whatever its parentage was, I find this a very acceptable piece of fruit. So, let's go ahead here and we'll... Uh, Give Connie Meyer a sample, huh? Okay, there we go. We got her peeled down. Not bad. No. It was not quite as ripe as the last ones I had. But it's fairly sweet for a dragon fruit and it has a reasonable tang to it. It makes it a little bit interesting. Now we'll try S8. Oh, with dragon fruit, once you cut a strip down the side of these things, the uh, skin pretty much will just roll off. You don't actually have to use a knife to peel these, take the flower hooey out of there. Okay, again, color, very similar. These two are very close in color. Mm. Flavor-wise, though, not much comparison, honestly. Now, that Connie Meyer wasn't as ripe as some I had in the past. Others were better, but this is definitely, hands down, a better piece of dragon fruit. Mm. Yeah. It has the sweetness. Oh. Uh, Yeah, it has the sweetness um, of the yellow, a little bit of it anyway, but it has a uh, tangy quality like the Costa Rican. Um, that makes it a little bit almost plum-like, and as you can see from the mess on my fingers, it has plenty of polyphenols. Mm that's your antioxidant in quality and uh, very good for your gut biome and so this type of purple dragon fruit is a, a very good uh, gut biome food like i said i got a whole bunch of other name varieties out there but i think they're all s8 <laughs> thank goodness because boy life could be way worse than to have too much s8 Alrighty, righty aloha y'all hang loose later